Hi, this is a quick video to describe how we can use uh, methods when programming in Java. So this method, or er, uh, the project that I'm going to work on now is one where uh, we're just going to take in some simple, uh, some simple grades for a, um, for a student and we're going to return the average grade to the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File, New File, and we'll create a new class and I'm going to call it average grade. Let's make this a little bigger for everyone. Okay, so first things, I always like to put a little comment at the top of uh, a class to describe what it is the class is trying to achieve. Uh, this class Okay, so all programs are going to start execution in the main method. So the first thing we need to do here is we're going to say public static void main. Now you'll see <coughs> every, every method has the exact same um, structure. So the method header always has the same same thing. So the first thing is we have to declare if it's public or private. Um, if it's public that means it can be accessed anywhere within uh, from any other uh, part of our program. If it's private it can only be accessed by um, other methods within our class. Um, static here uh, means whether or not we can call an we can call this method without an instance of our class. Um, that's a bit beyond the scope of where we are in our course just right now, but um, for most of our programs right now, things will be static. Void is our return type, and then we have our method name, and then inside the brackets are the arguments. Okay. So in this case, we want to uh, prompt the user for five grades. So I'm going to use type double and say uh, grade one, grade two, So now we have five variables where we can hold grades. And if I want uh, to get the grades, I'm going to say grade one equals, and I'm going to create a new method here. And the method I'm going to call it get grade. So um, you can see this is the start of our class. Here's the start and end of our main method. So down here, I'm going to put the, a new method called get grade. So this method will prompt the user for a grade and return the grade as a double. So it's important to know what type of return value you want. In this case, our, our variables are all type double, right, which holds numbers and decimals. Um, so here I should return a type double. So again, going back to the idea of our, of our method, method header, it's either going to be public or private. It's either static or we're blank there. And my return type now is double. And the name of my method would be get grade. And I have these opening and closing uh, round, bra round brackets. And that's where my arguments go. They go inside of there. In this case, I don't need to pass any information into my method. So I don't need to populate that. And here I have opening and closing curly braces. And I'm just going to say this is the end of method get grade. So in here, I need to prompt the user uh, for a grade, right? So let's just write something to the screen. Please enter a grade. Now, in order to uh, get the user's response, we're going to use a scanner object. So I'm going to say scanner, that's my data type, and I like the name keyboard because that's where the information is going to come from. And I'm going to say new scanner system in. Okay. Now you'll see that this is highlighting in red, which means the program doesn't know what a scanner is yet. And if I highlight over my little light bulb, it says I can't find this class scanner. If I left click with my mouse, then 
NetBeans says, well, I could add an import for it. It knows where it is. It just doesn't have the, the code. So let's import it. And then up here at the top, you'll get the import. So now we're in a position where we can uh, we can actually get the user's feedback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return that feedback to where we called it. And when I type keyboard and I hit the, the decimal or the period, what it's doing is it's it knows, because we said it's type double, it knows all of the methods that can return something that fit inside of a double. So we have hash code, next byte, next byte, oh, next double. And that returns a type double. So I think that's the one for us. Put a little semicolon at the end. So now we have a nice little method that will prompt the user for a grade and then return the grade into our variable grade one. So let's do the same thing for our other grades. Okay. So the nice thing is now that we've finished that code, we can just call that method over and over again and it's going to assign a double into all of our variables. So then we're going to print out the result to the screen, right? So system.out print the average grade is, and I'm going to make it to one decimal place, okay? So what this means is when I use printf, this is sort of like print formatted, um, it takes in this string, but whenever it sees the special character percent point one f or point two f or percent d it knows to expect um, that a a float value is going to be passed in here so i'm going to say uh, get the average and i'm going to pass in grade one grade two grade three and grade five okay so we haven't created this method yet but when we do It'll take in our grades, and then it's going to return a. Um, uh, it's going to return the average grade as a type double, and then that will be substituted into here. And because it says 0.1 f, it's going to show it to one decimal place. So let's create that method. So this method will uh, take five grades as integers. And, or as doubles and return them uh, return the average as a double so again we think of our method header so it's going to be public static our return type is going to be a double and we called it get average right so I got that from right here and it's expecting to pass in five doubles. So I have to tell it to take in five doubles. Now I've changed the variable names here. That's fine. Um, they do not need to be the same as above. The variable names are said to be local to the method they're in. So within here, I can call it G1. I could call it the same thing as I did up here. I can call it something else because these are local variables. Oops. So all I need to do here really is put in the formula for creating an average. So I'm going to say G1 plus G2 plus G3. Right. So take those five grades that we've got, right? It's a G1 plus G2 plus G3, 4, 5, divided by 5. Whatever that works out to, return that number up to here. So let's try it. So it says, please enter a grade. Since everyone's going to get 100, I'm going to say 100. And then a couple of people get 99. And in the end, it says the average grade is 97.6. So I hope that that helps. And if I shrink this font down, maybe you can see a little bit here how we have, here's a method that's handling some things, here's a method, and here's our main method, right? The main, the main error points that I see most people making 
is uh, they don't keep track of their uh, opening and closing brackets, right? So start of the main method, close of the main method, right? Start of the get average method and the close of it. So make sure to keep track of your your um, your curly brackets. Uh, I find it very helpful to add little comments uh, along the way and keep track of your indenting because that can really help make it easier as well. I hope this helps you understanding uh, how to create methods and how to do a little problem solving. Thanks so much.